higher one. So today let's solve the integral question called pass sound three. So this question is basically very similar to the previous question, but the two major differences. First, we have to return uh, the numbers of paths uh, where we can sum the value to target sum. And second difference is that in the previous question, we must to start at the root and to end at the leaf. But here we can actually uh, starting from middle to middle. But the only restriction is that we can only traversing uh, from parent node to child node, but not backward. Now let's check the following example to see how it works. You see the following example here. Uh, the root is 10, uh, but it's no need to start 10, so we can start the middle, so maybe start at 5 here. Let me use the join here. We should, you see, we can actually start at 5 here. If we start 5, we go left forward from this 3, so from uh, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, so it's a target sum. And we also can start the right word, so 5 plus 2 uh, plus this 1, you see, 5 plus 2 plus is 1, is also 8. That's good, so this is another way. But finally, we can also start uh, another uh, child or this 10. So maybe we'll start at it's minus 3, right? Then we add this uh, 11, we also get 8. So we we'll get 3 plus uh, 2 at the sound, so we have to return 3 as our result. Okay. Now, uh, let's think about how to solve this kind of problem. Well, for this kind of problem, since we can start in mid, so every time we're traversing top to down, we add one level, uh, we have to build a new tree uh, using the new root. Let me explain how it works. So it will make more sense. Uh, for example, we know if we're starting at this 10, the only tree we build from 10 using 10 as the root will be a this tree, right? So let's say this tree, we call it tree uh, 1. But if we traverse 10 uh, down, let's say traverse 10 uh, to 5. Then, if at 5 want to use 5 as a root to build a new tree, so maybe use different color here to help you understand. Okay. So if we are starting at 5 as a root, and we get this tree, right? You see this uh, kind of orange tree? And we call it tree 2. But also, you see, Phi has some uh, chow, left chow, right chow. So let's say uh, we are uh, going from phi to its left chow. So use different color here. Uh, traversing phi to its left chow 3. And we want to use these 3 to build a new tree. right? So we have this green one as a new tree. And let's call it tree 3. And finally, you see tree, this 3 also have uh, two chow, the left chow and right chow. So maybe use different color here. Okay, so we can use this one to build tree though. So although it's a single element, so we have tree four. In fact, we had route child, so uh, we will use this one to build a new tree. So this is tree five. Okay, if we do the same thing uh, for all these other elements, so use different color, use black color. So you can build a tree, use this one, build a tree, use this one, build a tree, use this one, uh, it will be this. Build tree this this one will be the single element and we want to add uh, all these trees together right so if I add all the counts it will be uh, our result okay now finish our intuition uh, let's think about how to write uh, the coding part uh, so first let's write the general framework well First, we have initialize, then we count for the low, count for the left top tree, and the right top tree, and we turn the count. Okay. Now here, maybe use a new tree here to avoid uh, some misunderstanding, because every time we travel stop to down, we are building a new tree, and that's count. So this new tree is different from uh, the sub tree. Uh, if we are starting a tree from uh, the root node. Okay, now let's uh, write the main function out. For the main function, let's initialize count at zero. But uh, currently, maybe don't need here. Uh, so let's say uh, we'll consider the chronic cases where there's no root. With no root, we immediately return zero because we cannot find anything. And then we need to count for, for that node, right? So how to do that? Let's call toggle function, which we are later. 
So the helper pass into the root, we pass into the target sound, right? And let's name it as a result node. And we also need to uh, build the left right new tree and add the count. So let's say the result left. We need to recursively to call this function to build new tree, right? So self so pass on and pass in this variable. Let's copy paste here. And the result all right pass in this variable. So let's copy paste here and now change this to root or left. Uh, to indicate use the left child to build new tree. And here to uh, root or right indicates using the right child to build new tree. And the total result will be result node plus result left and uh, plus result right. Not the main function. Let's think about how to uh, write the help function. But our function is similar to the previous question, so I just called it out. We need the root, we need target sound. That's the help function. The first thing uh, we have consider is the count case. So the no root, we immediately return uh, zero for the count. And after that, we want to uh, tra to do traverse uh, for that node if that root well uh, equals the target sound we have to uh, uh, add the count, right? And now let, let's check the left subtree and right subtree recursively and return the count. So, first you need to let the count as zero and check the call cases. Uh, the call is a no root. We just return zero. If root of L equals target sound, we uh, just uh, add count by one right and after that we check the left and right subtree by using hover function as the root or left and the new target sound will be target sound uh deducted by root of L. and then the right function also so just copy paste here and change this to right but you know we have to add all the possibilities and left subtree and right subtree just we just add count by on this element using the plus uh, equals like the pointer function and finally we return the count okay you see actually since we have count zero here no need to initialize count zero at the beginning the main function let's scroll down uh, to do a quick check to see it works okay so no typo here this element is good uh, this one we have to really talk this one's good and this one's good this one logically makes sense and this one good so let's see the result to see it works. Oh, there's a question. Oh, sorry, here's a typo here. Let me submit again. Okay, you see the result work. The type of message member usage is not bad. And I think the question is relatively easy to understand, although the coding part is slightly long. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.